is going on guys welcome back to another video here on loud and proud so i'm actually filming this starting out in my garage here however i'm going to be showing you guys around my father-in-law's truck which you guys have seen before but it's currently experiencing uh wife's dog here it's currently experiencing some transmission issues and we're going to go through some of those things with you guys here in terms of what we know and what it's doing the bottom line is pretty confident the truck's just going to need a new transmission or a rebuild i want to hear you guys' thoughts and i want to kind of go through what's going on and you guys can let us know down in the comment section below is it for sure the whole transmission is going to just need rebuilt or is it something that could be much simpler that we are just not knowing about or understanding because i know that we have a huge community of dodge people that follow along this channel and when i say that i mean like Probably most of you guys have some kind of knowledge of Dodge trucks or at least interest in Dodge trucks. And uh, just thought I'd make this video just in case you guys have some helpful information about the truck. So here's the truck and it is a, I believe it is it's somewhere between 95 and 97, but it is a Ram 1500 5.2 liter gas. So it's got the 318 in it. And the truck's got right at 263, 682 on the miles. So you know it's been around it's uh it's seen the roads for quite some time however the transmission has started to act up just a little bit recently and i wanted to get your guys take on it but let me show you around this thing it's super clean I'm going to try to explain and go through what is happening with this truck here as thoroughly as I can without the sunlight blinding the camera. You guys can kind of let me know down in the comment section what the best route would be to go with this thing. And I'm going to kind of tell you what he's kind of wanting to do with it also. So 264,000 miles, basically. The truck was actually purchased, ordered and purchased new by his father, um, who actually worked for Chrysler for a super long time. So it's been in the same family since it was brand new with no miles on it. And it's the original transmission, by the way. So I'm sure it's just due. But, you know, in the last, I want to say 500 miles, give or take, the overdrive light, overdrive off light started to come up on the dash randomly. And uh, he's like, well, that's interesting because I did turn the overdrive off. Um, you know, how you can click the button and then it'll, you know, just not use overdrive to keep it, you know, a little bit lower gearing for towing and whatever. So the light was coming on, he replaced the switch and went away and it was fine. It was shifting into overdrive just fine, doing its thing for about a week. And then he drove it up here, which is almost four hours to our place from where he's at. Because on his way up here, the truck loses overdrive again. The OD off light comes on and uh, there's no overdrive. And, you know, he's going 55 miles an hour the rest of the way to our place here. And which, of course, is a long, drooling trip when it's already a long trip when you're able to go 70. And then it's a really long trip when you can't go over 55 because you don't have overdrive. Gets it up here, sits for two days, super cold weather. And then we go to start it up again. And then it doesn't really want to shift in any gears and move. We finally, after about 25 minutes of the truck running, it warmed up a little bit and it would go into reverse. But it would need like... 2000 rpm basically to get the thing to roll and then same thing going into drive it got first gear and second gear but it's like you know it's it's having to push two to three thousand rpm just to get the thing to drive basically and roll up to any kind of decent speed going 20 30 miles an hour and then at that point it's it's not shifting past anything else so that's the current situation the current consensus and theory is that the transmission's just wore out it needs overhaul or rebuilt you know, it's got 200, again, 264,000 miles on the original transmission. And we know it's the original because his dad bought it when it was brand new. It's never been replaced. What I was going to say on, in terms of what he's planning on doing with this thing, it's pretty much a, it's either a good weather driver or only driven if he needs to drive it type of thing. And he's wanting to kind of turn this thing up in terms of power a little bit, throw a little bit more power at it, you know, do some stuff to the engine, replace some stuff and just try to get more performance out of the truck. So he's wanting to go with 
a slightly built transmission because he's wanting it to be able to handle a little bit of power increase because of course these trucks from the factory you know the stock transmissions testimony right here of the thing 264,000 miles on the original you know they last fine if you don't throw a bunch of power at them you throw a bunch of power at them now you got some issues what would be a good recommendation in terms of a transmission i know that this channel is mostly about diesels stuff around the diesel topics but what would be, I am completely unfamiliar with gas transmissions. I don't know if they're really that much different in the second gens, you know, the diesel to the gas in terms of how they're built and the parts that they use. I don't know if it's basically the same exact process, but what would be a good route to go for a transmission build? If you're wanting this truck to be able to handle, let's say 400 horsepower, you know, what would be the ideal transmission build list? Or is there a good reputable brand or company that, you know, makes crate transmissions that you can just buy and have them installed. Like what would be a good recommendation or a parts list of upgrades that are needed to be able to achieve that goal? So that's kind of the question. A, is it just something simple? Like, is it is it something that just needs tweaked on this transmission to keep it going for now? You know, as to why it would just lose overdrive or for some reason, all of a sudden now it's like struggling to shift, you know, and drive in reverse or drive at all or is it just the reality is it needs a new transmission or this one rebuilt which is probably what it is but you know trying to stay open-minded here but if you guys have any suggestions down in the comment section below please let us know but yeah this thing is this thing is really sweet here's the thing that gets me really nervous too my personal truck which is my grandfather's truck before i bought it back that truck has almost the identical mileage i think it's got like 262 on it and it's a 5.9 gas, and I'm pretty sure that one is also the original transmission. And it it shifts fine, but you can tell it's a little bit weak. And uh, I'd also like to know, you know, what's recommended too, because I should probably start to consider the fact that if I'm going to start driving that truck a bunch again when the weather starts to warm up, at some point here, hopefully it's not anytime really soon, but at some point here when I'm pulling a trailer with it, working it, I'm putting some more miles on it in the warmer months. There's, there's a good chance at some point that transmission is not going to hold in forever. It's going to have to go. So information in the comment section would be much appreciated in terms of recommendations for this one. If we're trying to achieve between the stock, like 230-ish, give or take, I don't remember exactly what these were, to 400 horsepower range, what would be a good build list or recommendation or, you know, brand of transmission to go with? I'm really unfamiliar with the options. So that would be awesome to know. And on another note... You can enter to win this thing right now. This thing just got a wash too. Freaking sick. Ready to go to one of you guys that enter to win this thing. 0459. Fourth gen interior. Starlit headliner for those of you that like that. I know some of you are not such a fan. And if you pay attention to our texts and emails, if you check those out though, there are bonuses for you guys to enter to win these trucks. And it just gives you a little bit of an edge on the entries and it really helps out. So um, if you guys want to check those out, that would be also a good idea. I'm just going to say this. We are pretty much established in the realms of older Dodge trucks. Mostly second gens, but some first gens and third gens, you know, couple fourth gens we've had over the years. I personally am becoming more and more fond of the third gens the more that I look at the prices of first gens and second gen and third gens, I'm just kind of like, it's the same price to get a nice third gen as it is a nice first or second gen. Sometimes even cheaper to get a nice third gen or like a first gen, just because those are pretty much antiques at this point that are hard to come by in good condition. But between the options available, what's your guys' preference right now in terms of second gens or third gens? Let me know down in the comments section below, which one is your favorite and your preference and why? And I will read through those comments. I'll try to leave some likes and hearts and comment back as much as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, sticking along. Don't forget, if you want to get entered to win that truck, plus the five grand, that giveaway is ending in, I think, like nine days now. So take advantage of that while you can. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.